بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو انادر ویڈیو وچ از ویری امپورٹنٹ آئی وڈ سے سبجیکٹ ان دا آئی ٹی آئی ول سے آئی ٹی ورڈ مینی اپلیکیشنز اینڈ کمپنیز دے نیڈ سرٹن لیول آف ایکوریسیز وتھ اسپیڈ سو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس بار کوڈس ٹوڈے اینڈ آئی ول گیو انٹروڈکشن of different types of barcodes and will show you as a demo two barcodes how to use them in excel excel or word or whatever you can use the application and uh, we'll see the limitations or uh, features available of each uh, barcode and uh, then you can decide as per your uh, requirements which one you want to use right okay <coughs> agenda will be or uh, the topics will be covered <clears throat> first we will discuss why to use barcodes i mean why you need barcodes and then uh, before using what should be the considerations right what you have to consider in order to select a uh, certain barcode right okay a uh, few uh, popular barcodes details so we will take these uh, most commonly used barcodes i would say uh upc en uh 3 of 9 uh code 128 interleaved <clears throat> 205 or it is also called 2525 without of so it depends okay qr code uh 2d two dimensionals then we have pdf 417 uh azitech and then uh, at the end i will give you demo of uh, code 39 3 of 9 and qr code using ms excel right okay let's start why to use barcodes the very first thing is you need accuracy in the data entry but sometimes uh, it is not possible but because let's say for example it's a product code or you know uh, a lengthy string or uh, i mean passport information or different type of information so you need accuracy so instead of typing that long number let's say 12 digit number so you just scan within less than seconds it will give you the data right in milliseconds it will not take even second okay so first one is you need accuracy okay another is speed because let's say for example your uh, store person who has to do shipment he has to type uh or lengthy product code so and batch batch number and uh, all those information so it will be very very slow right so here you need speed as well okay automation sometimes you you have products when it is going automatically on the belt it is getting automatically scanned so you don't need to even do manually you know scanning and all those things are writing or whatever it is getting automatically scanned okay what are the considerations nature of business and use because different barcodes uh, having different dynamics so for example retail industry need a different type of passcodes uh, uh, barcodes because they have different dynamics or considerations right uh, on the other side if you go to aviation they need different logistic totally different uh, way of operation or working then what else size limitation so let's say for example you have a carton it has its own material color uh it has big size so you can have uh, you will not have the size limitation but you will have might be you need to consider the speed of scanning printing all those things then if you go to on the chocolate bar you need a very small barcode but it should have uh, as much uh, information which you need for, as a barcode uh, <clears throat> and then uh, you have material different type of material so you have to consider the size as well then you have printing and scanning speed which i have already explained because you have to consider uh, i mean printing cost uh, paper cost because if you need small i mean value or sorry uh, um, size of the data to be barcoded and you are using a 
barcode which is not required even which is for large volume of data so it's a wastage okay characters to be included then you have to ch check okay let's say for example you want to use only numeric you need alphanumeric means characters plus numeric what kind of data you have to print maybe you have to um, add in barcode image fingerprints uh, text whatever I mean it, it depends now you have to think uh, before the, uh, um, starting using any so I will discuss now which barcode has what uh, features then you will be able to map to your requirements okay available scanners let's say for example you already have barcode labels in your company so and you have to by the way by, while con while considering barcodes or scanners each scanner will not scan all barcodes so you have to check which scanner will scan which and what will be the price of the scanner right let's say for example if you need a very simple uh, requirement of uh, barcode 3 of 9 which is freely available and you are I mean buying a hi-fi scanner which can scan 2D or whatever it's not your requirement so it should be a waste of investment okay then you have data size limitations or requirements or whatever so few barcodes let's say for example if they can print only uh, say eight characters or eight digits but your data is let's say 10 digits so you have to consider another barcode right okay our first barcode is UPC universal product code Normally, it is used in the retail industry, especially on POS. POS is called point of sale. When you go to any market and you know they scan while uh, making a bill for you, so they scan this barcode. So normally, it has a different part. So I, I, I'm not going into that much detail in this technically. So let's say, for example, if you see here, it has two parts. Let me give you a short introduction here. Mm, let me put add. So let's say for example it has this part, then it has this one, then it has this and this one, right? Each has different meaning and usage. So normally it's a product code or this is considered for a supplier code, this is considered uh, as a product information. So it depends, I'm, I mean. Uh, you have to consider for retail uh, UPC right so it has 12 numbers right you can encode in this 12 numbers right 5 plus 5 plus these two right and UPC this is UPC E by uh, UPC A right then you have UPC E which has six numbers because sometimes maybe you don't need a uh, big number maybe small candy so you will print a small uh, barcode which is scannable but you, you have the size limitation right uh, normally this is used in USA right okay let's move to the next this is called EN it is same as UPC almost and because it is also used for the industry because this is uh, sorry this is not uh, I, I have to put this is for Europe right this is EN this is sorry you can remove this okay uh, used in retail industry the same way it has uh, en8 covers eight digits and en13 covers 13 digits so these are 13 right normally last one is for checksum so it checks if there is any uh, issue in the scanning or whatever because there's a formula it calculates all these values then it will put that character here that digit so while scanning it will again put that formula into action and then it will see that is that value is coming otherwise it will give error that there is something wrong with the barcode right okay next is three of nine it's freely available you can download a font you can use it but it has certain things which you have to remember uh, it can scan both it can use you can use both digits and characters right okay it encode 39 characters now, let us they have some enhancement which is up to 43 okay starts and ends with star okay so normally barcode fonts will not print this one here 
but your data should be uh, you can say on both sides your data should have this steric right then only it will be scanned so scanner will know uh, there is a start uh, steric steric at the end steric that means it's 3 of 9 okay then we have code 1 to 8 the normally this is used in supply chain compact high density codes support any character of the ASCII 128 right okay next is interleaf 205 <clears throat> used to label packaging material normally you will see on the packaging material 205 high printing tolerance see these are now different qualities of different uh, barcode uh, they are ideal for printing on uh, corrugated cardboard right 14 numeric digits so normally big companies they will have these uh, packaging uh, uh, big shipments so it is having 14 numeric digits and use the full ASCII set so it has only 14 numeric digits again it will have speed printing tolerance so if let's say for example uh, it is not you can say uh, printed properly then you can still it, it can it can be scannable and then next we have uh, uh, this is 2d now uh, two dimensional qr code <coughs> used for tracking and marketing like advertisement magazine and business cards so on your business card or sometime in newspaper you will see once you will scan it will go to the website right so there is a uh, url given in the barcode which will take it to them to that website right flexible in size you can increase or decrease the size of this because this is uh, normally an image right high fault tolerance this is high fault tolerance i will show you how it works uh, fast readability right okay our next is pdf 417 normally by the way we are using directly or indirectly these barcodes or at least uh, uh, going through these are these are in our life <coughs> sorry excuse me used by governments and logistics for huge amounts of data such as photographs fingerprints and signatures like, like used on passports or any such documents okay easy tech used by transportation like tickets and airlines boarding passes that's what i was saying normally we are uh, in touch with these barcodes directly or indirectly so let's say for example if you have traveled on the boarding pass or tickets this barcode type is used bad resolutions can be scanned if still you know it is a bit uh, not printing well or bit damaged or you know so still it can be scanned right so if you see here how many numeric digits alpha beta characters bytes of data can be included in this barcode font just imagine okay i think things are clear now okay <clears throat> let me switch to uh, demo sorry I will okay first is uh, code 3 of 9 let me write it code 3 9 3 9 r 3 of 9 right okay <clears throat> if you see here I have downloaded a font and installed it and just using it right I am selecting it over here so I will just select this code here now the only requirement this uh, will have you need to have a steric on the both side so let's say for example if I want to print 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 for example and now I will just select that font and let me increase its size if you see this is also a barcode 
but once you will scan it your scanner will not be able to identify it because it is not following uh, the requirements of code 39 what you have to do you have to put asterisk and on this side asterisk now this is code 3 of 9 right this is so let's say for example if you are creating reports in um, oracle what you have to do let's say for example let me give you example of oracle here as well so what i will do i will put steric right then concatenate uh, let's say product code and just because this is my field maybe and then i will have steric this i will call it barcode from uh, products right then in the report you will change the this field uh, and assign the font of your uh, 3 of 9 right which you will have installed there on your that uh, client right this is one example i have showed you including excel and oracle okay then second is qr code let me show you how to do the qr code what you have to do uh, in excel or what whatever go to insert and then go to store right in the store click store here and then you can select office qr right you will find different qr codes by the way i have selected this one and click add it will ask you to username uh, of your office account you just enter that and it will be added as an add-on so once you will come here maybe it will be here uh, still because it is just loaded so this is how it is right what you can do let me come here as a blank sheet right now let's say for example i have to generate a qr code so here it is let's say https i want to give on my visiting card that it should have a QR code which once someone will select it should take it to www.rerpstuff.com or let me remove this W as well so you can even use this one ok now it has colors it has sizes and it has this error correction right so it has different error correction so we will keep it the as it is medium uh, and here it is so let's say for example i will change the size it will generate right okay now just click insert that's it now use this and it will have what once you will scan it will take it to this url right and as i said it has no size issues just see its image even if you will increase it will remain readable increase or decrease it is readable because now it is an image okay mm, okay i think uh, today session got bit lengthy hope so but uh, this was productive uh, and uh, if you have any question or query you can ask under the video or uh, you can email us uh, email us as well the email addresses are given right keep in touch thank you very much and allah hafiz